All right, everybody, Rod here from Dash Brazil. I'm here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and finally I had the, uh, the chance to meet Ernesto once again. Thanks for inviting me to come over to the meetup. Tell us a little bit why, you know, two core team members are coming down to South America, Argentina, and uh, La Bitconf, which is the most important crypto event in Latin America, very traditional. We have topest name like Andreas Antonopoulos and so on. Why is it important for Dash to have a booth, core team members in the Latin America market? Yeah. Well, first of all, Rodrigo, thank you for coming. I know you made a big effort, yeah. so I really appreciate it. <laughs> it. It was a lot of buses, ferries, trains, and uh, and everything else. I had to take uh, 14 hours to get here. Yeah, all <laughs> right one after the other. So thank you, first of all, for that. And um, we understand that we've done some efforts to grow communities and grow adoption in different parts of Latin America. But in the South, we have not done a lot. We have not uh, been able to get, you know, some Rodrigo's, some of the Venezuelan teams, some of the Mexican efforts. And we understood this was the perfect opportunity to start doing that. So uh, we're very excited. Um, on Thursday, Fernando and myself will be at LabitConf in a, in a booth. And we're going to be there networking, meeting people, making business partners, and opening up opportunities. And that that's happening in Uruguay. So, you know, we're very lucky. We're very happy that Buenos Aires is just about four hours uh, by boat and about 40 minutes by plane to Uruguay. So we just said, hey, let's uh, take the opportunity to have an event here. We're at beautiful WeWork in Buenos Aires in the middle of the financial district. And we just organized a meetup. We had an amazing turnout. We expected about 10 people. That's what we thought we, that yeah. we could bring. And there were about 25. So a lot of people are interested to learn about Dash. A lot of people have heard about what is happening. Some of them are already doing some kind of um, usage, either trading, either sending remittances, or either helping their family members to use it because they've heard about it. Uh, we had a lovely couple. They're in the, um, uh, I, I assume they're like maybe retired. my parents, they're retired. And they were asking, how do you do this? What is this thing that can help me uh, use something different than the pesos? Because they've been through a lot of financial crisis. So these are some of the examples that we're seeing. Definitely in Latin America, there's people using crypto, using Dash for more than speculation, for more than trading. And that is great. And definitely, you know, this is another part of the, of the region that we're very eager to grow and that will continue growing just like it's happening in, in Brazil, in Venezuela, in Argentina, I'm sorry, in, in, in Mexico, and in all the other places where we have communities. So we hope to have, you know, a very strong and growing ecosystem in Argentina and Uruguay as well. What's the, what's the biggest stake today for Latin America? Because now we have a proposed owner renewing his proposal for Mexico, Roel. Uh, we have proposals in uh, Venezuela. We have my proposals in Brazil. We have proposals in Colombia. It's growing. So what's the biggest take for you regarding Latin America comparing to Europe, Africa, and other, even though it's very different to compare, but why Latin America has the biggest potential for, for Dash? Yeah, well, what we've seen is that um, I think of it like a pyramid. And, you know, there's the base layer, which is exchanges. You need to change your fiat for crypto, for Dash. And then there's a second layer where you start using it. In this region, and I saw it today very clearly here in Argentina, we see it a lot in, in Venezuela. We see it in Brazil and in the other countries where Venezuelans have migrated. People never talk about Lambos. People never talk about Moon. People talk about... I understand that my money is depreciating now, like Argentina, has depreciated like Venezuela, or can depreciate again like Brazil. So people see the use case, and then they understand that there's different ways that they uh, can 
utilized so they don't depend only on the government. And then there's different use cases for all of this. And, and of course, there's different um, use cases and opportunities that are happening in, in, in uh, Europe and in Africa, and, and they're great, but, and I don't know about them in specific. But in Latin America in specific, I believe it will be the first place where we will see some real crypto adoption and you know i'm very happy very proud and blessed to be in the middle of it seeing how it happens and you know regarding all the teams uh what i've done and you're a good proof of it is that i always look for the cooperation how can we help each other you know this person and know this other let's connect them let's grow the business and this is exactly what uh we at dash core envision for the region to happen no? how can we connect each other how can we leverage the knowledge that one has with the knowledge that the other have and grow uh, as a whole well we just at the meetup here just met the guys from the taros exchange mexico the guys from ok coin to exchange that potentially can even uh, ok coin in brazil it's a, actually it's already possible to use but in mexico especially for the remittances business even though dash brazil will be making a cool remittances business announcement very soon as well so stay tuned everybody but uh, just to show you everybody the potential of latin america once again thanks for the invites uh, thanks for coming down to Latin America as well. We got to have a, a cool uh, LabitConf as well. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Ciao.